hi guys thanks for all your support if you like this video please share and subscribe type any questions in the comments below so today we will discuss the remote management of Dawa cameras by using smart PSS app and I will copy and paste the link in the description you can download the app from there I have already downloaded the Windows version I'm going to install that one it may take up to 15 seconds so there are two versions so small we need the smart PSS we don't need the extension of the storage service press next and install now I'm going to run the smart PSS app That's how the apps look looks like once we are done with the setup so we can add uh, the cameras uh, by two methods. I would prefer adding it using serial number. Uh, the difference is if we add the cameras using IP, we can only access the cameras in our home network. And if we use it using serial number, we can remotely access and make the changes. Uh, the method to obtain the serial number, we can get it from the cardboard box that the NVR came in. We can use the we can check the serial number from there or we can always go to the IP address of the cameras and like my IP address is here we can find it in the network folder in TCP IP of the NVR we need uh, to log in into the NVR and then we need to go to the network in P2P we can see the serial number here so we will need to make a copy of the serial number and uh, then we can add it in the smart PSS app by doing so we can remotely access it and make all any changes to the cameras or intercom systems our NVR in smart PSS using serial number just go to the add tab device name can be found in the system in the main menu of NVR so method to add you, you can use IP if you just want to stay in the home net Wi-Fi network and we are going to add it using serial number so that we can access it remotely I'm just going to type my serial number it may take a while bear with me and then we just need our login credentials for the NVR once we hit add so the status will change from offline to online If everything is done right so our system is online what we need to do is we just need to select this and if we want to make any changes any configuration changes or we need to do playback or live view we just need to click on this plus button so from here we can we have all the options that we are able to see in the NVR so now I'm remotely logging into the NVR to have the live view let's go to the live view first we can go here and I'll just show you one of the cameras to try with one so we can have we can visualize all the cameras there are different layouts down there so if we want to do the playback we can just close these tabs or we can add on to this one and we can go to the playback and from here we can select the date and time the camera date and time so let's say it's driveway so we need to select that camera and down there this is today's recording and uh, we can just select the time and date from here and we can do our playback let's say I'm going to play it at night so this is the night view so these are the trip wires I've made for my camera uh, the next thing is the configuration we can have multiple tabs up here so this is playback this is live view and I'm going to open a new one that's that is the configuration changes so if we want to change any parameters like uh, here we can also go to the web interface from if we click there so we need to select our NVR first and then we need to go to the camera and from here whatever we can see in our NVR setup we can 
we can also do it from here all the changes can be done from here like video detection audio detection any abnormality or alarm triggers or TCP IPs so it gives us so many options to do it gives us the remote access to do everything that we can do on the physical uh, NVR so I hope you like this video and uh, it gives you a brief information how to add the cameras for remote management you can do the same thing for door access and it, it supports up to 256 cameras 64 channels and uh, it can also it also supports intercoms and uh, our day-to-day -day monitoring systems so i hope you like this video please do subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one